Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to turn a diamond art piece. It's a photo album. We're going to turn it into a die holder. I hope you'll stay tuned. Oh, I know that sounded crazy, but I, I'm just... Trust me, this is a plan. So this is a photo album that you get. Uh, I got it from fancells.com and I really love it. It's, you know, you decorate the front and the back and I'm really happy with the result. But I didn't think I would use it for a photo album because, you know, I don't really do much with photos anymore. But I like the idea that it's really heavy duty cardboard. I mean, this is heavy duty. And I like the idea that it's double sided, that I could use it both ways. So what I wanna do with it is I'm gonna take these magnetic vent covers. You get these at any hardware store. I think I got this from Amazon actually. And um, they're very inexpensive. And you get three in a pack and I'll show you how big they are. They're very large. It's 15 inches long and it must be eight inches across. Yes. So let's uh, talk about measurements. This is smaller than eight inches. So obviously it's not gonna work for the full length of this. So I need to look at my measurements. This is a little bit over seven inches. So I'm gonna cut my uh, magnetic strip. I'm going to make it seven inches uh, across. And um, the nice thing is that this is a, um, a magnetic and this is metal. So I'll be able to, you know, hold it in place. I think I'm going to flip it over though so I can make marks on this. I want it to be seven inches. So I'm just gonna make some marks with my ruler. I'm just gonna make some dots. I might not be completely accurate here, but it's gonna be close. My goal again is to make this seven inches. Now, I if you're thinking to yourself, oh geez, that's gonna be a waste, don't get rid of that extra inch because we're gonna be using that for all kinds of little dies. So then I'm gonna turn it this way. And I'm gonna lay my die or my ruler so that it is lined up here. And this time I'm going to use a pencil because I really don't want to have a big mark on this. I'm just going to do this. There we go. Then you're going to take your scissors from uh, Tim Holtz. They're the best to cut things that are thick like this. And I'm just going to trim this inch off. Okay. We're going to use this for other things, so don't get rid of it. Then the next thing we want to do is measure the width across one of our pages. And this is about four and three quarters inches. I'm actually going to make it four and a half inches because I think that'll make it. I think that's um, a smarter move. Thirteen and a half. Turn it over. That looks right. Close enough anyway. Alrighty. Let me cut this out and I'll be right back. I've already done a lot of the work on this because what I did was I uh, figured you didn't really want to watch me put the uh, the different pieces in. Then the the ends, you know, the ones where I had like the inch extra, I at I put those in the back. And then remember, this is like a 
uh, double-sided album so you have to you have to do it's two different ways of looking at it it's so you got this side and then there's this side so when I did this one um, I used the long strips and went um, in a different direction and then I had these shorter pieces and I just thought I would show you uh, quickly how how you do that and what I wanted to do is I'm going to take the front of the book this time because I, I could do the back but I'm going to show you the front because it might be easier that way and eh, maybe I'll do the back I'll just do the back it's easier um, what I did was I had more little strips because when I did it I cut it too long because you know I my measuring skills are not the greatest and what I did was I measured the outside of the book instead of the inside and I should have measured the inside anyway so um, I have these little strips that are long and I want to make sure that they go when you do this wait let me show you on this part when when I line these up I line them up on the outside edge of the book so that there was a gap in the center so that I would be able to put the um, you know when I put the dies in that they wouldn't be too close to the center so that would you know the bulge wouldn't be so bad so anyway so when I, when you do this piece you want to do the same thing you want to make sure you go as far as you can toward the outside edge like that now these pieces aren't going to be straight I don't care about that because this is just my own little book if I was making this for somebody else clearly I would have made it prettier but uh, I made it for myself so I'm just making it so that it will hold as many dies as I can get it to hold and I'll show you my die system in a second and so you can see the problem I have with it okay so that's um, that's all of it now I tried to make as many full pieces as possible because it's always nice when you can put a lot on one sheet and so that's what I was shooting for so let me show you my system I like my system but it's right now it there are two there's too many in each one so I need to um, take take some of them out so let me show you this Ooh. this one is oh it's really heavy um, this one is my um, holidays in the front and then my layered dies toward the back and layered by layered I mean the ones that are like this like like there's a bunch in a set so when I did it originally I was so lucky I was at a garage sale and they had a ton of these that they were trying to get rid of and I was so excited because they fit perfectly into my um, into my system but with that being said the other problem I had was that some of them were like this where the the center was missing so when you have a, the center missing you got a little problem because then sometimes things fall out and so that made me kind of nuts so let me just kind of show you what my system is going to be going forward um, if you don't know I normally take my dies out of their packaging just because of my system that you know the um, putting it on the these uh, pieces of magnet uh, magnetic whatever uh, it makes it almost impossible to keep the the uh, plastic that says what it is you know it says like who made it or who sold it whatever so all I did was I just kind of did this where I'm gonna I'm going to going forward with my new system when you when you do this I don't know if you've if you've never done this before um, when you put your dies in you want to make sure that the cutting part of the die is face up because the the thicker part of the die the part that has more background is touching your magnet so you want that to happen because you want to make sure as much as possible is on your magnet I'm going to 
put these in here real quick if I can. Real quick. That's, you know, oxymoron. Okay. And I, when I had those ones that had the open centers like this, I taped them so that they would stay like this. Okay, so I put everything in. I took everything out of the CD case and I moved the uh, holiday things into this one and uh, left the the uh, layered ones in the other one. So then what I decided I needed to do is I need to figure out a way to um, to close this. And so what I did was I took my crocodile and I punched a hole right there. And I'm going to put one of these um, eyelets in here. So what I'm going to do is I have a button and I have about, I would say, maybe a little bit over two feet of my elastic. And I got the elastic at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to just thread it from the inside of the book to the outside of the book. And I'm going to decide where I want my uh, button to be because that's what's going to hold that closed on the inside or it's going to keep it from it's going to keep it from the knot coming through the other side I think that's about where I want it so I'm going to I'm going to tie it Okay, let's see how we did. My button's hidden. And we're just gonna we're gonna close it just like that. If you want it to be extra sturdy, I would maybe use um, two um, two rows of the elastic just to be on the safe side so here it is completely finished it's got the band on it it'll keep it completely closed on both ends because you know it opens from both sides I love the the projects that, that I've been coming up with from fan cells they're so much fun I've changed the name from diamond painting to diamond art so I hope that you will get a kick out of that and that you'll give this a thumbs up and subscribe please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching bye bye